friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bitly Ditly Has Plans. In today's video, we are gonna make some new cash envelopes for 2021. So let's get started. Okay, so I realize I haven't done a lot of budget videos um, for you friends and I thought um, because my cash envelopes need to really be um, renewed, um, remade, I thought I would kind of show you just a little bit of, of my system and what I do. So um, I have, I started with this um, Filofax. So this is the Filofax um, Safiano. It's actually an agenda planner. It's a personal rings planner. Um, the budget mom was a huge fan of um, this um, kind of planner style um, folio that she actually uses as a wallet. So I'm going to open this up. She now actually has a partnership with Filofax and she has designed her own wallet. It's basically this um, and it's got like her own um, print on it that she designed, um, which I'm so happy for her because everybody rushed out and bought these little um, folios um, <clears throat> when she started advertising that she was using them. Okay, so it's great. Um, there's lots of pockets. There's a place for a pen, because like I said, it is a ring, um, like folio system. I keep my checkbook in here. I keep my credit card, because I never use it, but see, there's lots of um, card slots in here. And then over on this side, again, another, there's like an elast-sized um, pocket. Another pocket with like, I think 12, um, card holders here. <laughs> That's a lot of cards. Um, but, and then some more, just another pocket. And then here is a zip spot where you could put coins if you were using this as your wallet. <clears throat> I tried it out as a wallet and um, carrying it in my purse for a couple of weeks. And I gotta tell you, like one, I don't know why it feels so big. Um, cause it's, this is a, a standard size wallet. It's not all that much bigger, but it just was, um, awkward for me, I think, to open it up at the cash stand and have all my envelopes in here. You can see, look at how tattered these are. I think I created these envelopes, must have been 2019, <clears throat> maybe like sometime in the last quarter of the year. So I've just been making really good use of them, but they do need to be um, redone because they're a little bit shabby. So, um, so what I do is this stays at home in a safe place. <clears throat> When I get my cash for my cash envelopes, I divide everything up and I stick it in here. And then when I'm gonna go out shopping, especially with grocery shopping, I've gotten really good now at knowing how much I need to bring based on my shopping list, like how much I'm gonna spend. Um, or if I know we need to go get a birthday gift, I'll just take the gift money out of here um, and I stick it in my wallet. And so I'll show you now, I'll put this to the side, is the wallet that I love. Um, this is the Bella Taylor wallet. It's a quilted fabric wallet. It's standard size of most of these kind of like full size wallets. Um, I love it because all of the prints that they do remind me of Vera Bradley and I love Vera Bradley stuff. Um, they also do um, like solid black, solid navy. Um, and so they have a great website. So it's Bella Taylor. And this is a really functional wallet. So I emptied it out just, you know, so that I wouldn't be sharing all my personal stuff. Two spots here for IDs, which is perfect because I put my driver's license and my military ID there. Um, another pocket here for like insurance cards. There is a pen holder, which is nice. Um, and then um, six more card slots here for um, banking cards or gift cards or reward cards. I put like reward cards back here, my library card. Um, that kind of stuff. And then here's the great part of it. You zip it open and it has all of these different slots for your cash. Um, it comes with some tabs that are like already pre-printed for you. Like this one says groceries. This says entertainment, which is basically my fun category. And then what I did was I just took my um, little um, label maker and did categories that I liked to have. So gifts, um, my miscellaneous, um, this is for personal, like if we're going to get our hair cut or get our nails done, um, auto. I, I probably will change this to Otis because I keep my um, gas money in my bank account and I just use my card at the gas station because I don't like to have to go into the little shop and pay cash for gas. Um, also, because I'm paying for my daughter's gas in the Land Cruiser, I usually will just transfer money to her. So I probably will change this spot to 
Otis at some point. And then I just kind of hand wrote this one. This one's for like receipts. Um, sometimes if I'm buying stuff for work and all that, I'll just put the receipts receipts in here. Um, but for each category as I'm spending, um, like if I buy groceries, I just put the receipt right in there with the cash. Um, so I really love this wallet. Um, it fits in my, um, like my work bag. And then on the weekends, I usually change purses to a crossbody, like a little something smaller that I can just throw over my shoulder. Um, and it fits in that as well. And then on the back side, it does have a um, coin, a zippered coin pocket. So this is my it's the Bella Taylor cash system wallet, I think is what they call it. And um, so I love that. And so, like I said, I will take cash when I'm heading out the door and I will stick it in my wallet. And this is great because I get paid <clears throat> on the 1st and the 15th. And so when I do my cash um, on payday, um, I, I have two weeks worth of cash and I don't want to be carrying that around with me. Like, I just don't think that's wise or safe. And so I like to leave um, most of my money at home and just take what I need, um, for the day or for a couple days. Like usually what I'll do is I'll put like, you know, $20 in my miscellaneous and maybe like 10 or 15 for my fun. And I just always kind of have a little bit of cash on me. And then, like I said, I'll put money in there to do like my big commissary run or like my Costco run. And then whatever change is left over from those, I just kind of leave in there as like my, leftover food money just kind of if oh shoot we're out of tomatoes let me go run to the regular store and get tomatoes so that's kind of how I manage my cash and I don't do a ton of cash envelopes and um, if you've seen my budget videos it's mainly food fun um sometimes gifts just depending um on the month and then um miscellaneous so food fun miscellaneous are the main ones um Otis kind of comes and goes depending on what's going on with him and his um, meds or getting his nails trimmed. And then like my personal, again, it's just kind of here or there. This is a cash envelope for Christmas. So I save, I have a Christmas sinking fund, um, both in my check, uh, savings account at the bank. Um, because you know, Christmas shopping nowadays, you do a lot of shopping online. And then I also do a cash envelope, um, for things where I'm actually physically going into the store or just, I, I don't know, for some reason, I like to have like a mix of cash and money in the bank. So, um, so that's kind of my two wallet system, I guess. I, I, it might seem laborious, but to me it really works. Like, I don't know, I really like it. And I'm looking at this wallet and I'm thinking, oh, it's starting to get worn a little bit. I've had it since 2019, so um, it's been a while. It still has good life to it, but I thought, oh, now that I'm looking at it, maybe I should wipe it down a little bit before I showed it to you guys. Okay, so that's kind of my wallet system. And then I wanted to share with you um, my cash envelopes. So these are from the Budget Mom. Um, what I did was I actually bought a PDF file from her on her website. This is an editable, editable, not edible. I was practicing that off camera, um, file. So I could go in and um, label whatever category I wanted. So this one's gonna be my food. This one will be my miscellaneous. Um, this will be fun, personal, um, gifts, and then Otis. And then I always make like an extra Otis envelope just in case like I just want to take some cash and I just kind of put it in there. And then a Christmas one. And then I did another Otis one just because I like this print. Um, I couldn't decide. Um, and so those are, I already went ahead and I printed them, but I wanted to show you her site. And I'm wondering if I can... I have my laptop here and I'm wondering if I need to just kind of move my camera for a second. Okay, so hopefully you can see this pretty good. Um, this is her um, website. She's got a blog. She posts a lot of articles. Um, look, she has her own Fireflax store now. Um, but if you go to shop the budget mom over here, um, this is where she has her live rich planner, her budget by paycheck workbook, and kind of all the products she sells. Sorry. <laughs> can't talk today. Um, she does a bunch of cash envelopes, like she'll sell the bundles um, and they're really reasonably priced. And then she has the printable. So see like these printable ones, if you purchase this for $3.99, you get a couple different prints. Um, and then you get, you uh, like immediately get the PDF file. Um, and so this is the one um, here that I bought. Um, it's six different um, prints and it's on sale now for $6.99. So totally reasonable. Um, these ones here are not editable. So you'd print them and then there's this white space here 
um, for you to go in and just kind of write in um, whatever you wanted your categories to be. So you just, she's got some cute prints, um, some really simple basic, like I like this polka dot one. And then she's got other ones that like this one here, you can kind of color it in. So it's really visual if you're a visual person. Um, so I love her stuff. I'm always checking out what she has. Um, and then I just thought I'd show you, this is the Bella Taylor um, website with the cash wallets. Um, and it kind of gives you a de description of how it works. I love it. This is mine right here, this print. Um, but if we go into the shop now, so see, these are the solid colored ones. Looks like they have um, leather now, um, that RFID. So like your cards can't get scanned. Um, so it's really, I think it's not that bad in terms of prices for wallets. Like this one's on sale for $37.95. This printed one um, looks kind of similar to mine. Um, so, oh, she's got new prints. I haven't been in here for a while. So <laughs> how fun. There's mine, I think. Um, I think this one's cute too with the purples and the pinks. Um, so yeah, so you might want to check these out if you're doing um, cash envelopes. Oh, these are cute little patriotic um, patchwork ones. Um, so I just thought I'd share that with you, friends. Um, that's just kind of, like I said, my cash management system. Okay, so now I'm going to um, flip the camera back and show you how I cut out and assemble my envelopes. I went ahead and printed all of my cash envelopes, and I print them on 32-pound weight paper. Um, I like this weight paper. I usually will buy a ream of it from like Staples or Office Depot, just kind of any of your local um, office supply stores. Um, I just feel like the heavier weight um, holds up definitely much nicer for cash envelopes, but also I print my Budget by Paycheck workbook for the year on this paper. I feel like the heavier paper is just nicer. It's a little more um, closer in weight to like um, what my planner paper would be. So whether you use a plum paper or um, Erin Condren, I mean, the Erin Condren paper is definitely heavier, but um, at least it's closer, you know what I mean? Like I just kind of like that little bit heavier weight. And so all I do is I take my paper trimmer, I just have a Fisker's paper trimmer here, and I um, I just kind of cut out around it. Um, and then I um, score the flaps. Um, I have a paper score. You by all means don't need to go out and buy one. I happen to have one because my mom gave it to me. She is an avid card maker. Um, and this was just an old one that she had that she, uh, that she gave me. And I think the scoring when you're using a heavier weight paper um, is nice because it helps you with just folding those edges really nice and clean. Um, and then I just kind of glue the flaps down. So let's get started. I'm just gonna do this food one here. And like I said, I just kind of use my paper, my normal paper trimmer that I've had for years for scrapbooking and, you know, just crafting and all that kind of stuff. So I just kind of line this up a little bit. Um, I'm not, I'm never really good with these things. I feel like they're never really straight. Like the, they're never really true, um, in terms of like, um, really being square, like <laughs> at right angles and everything. Um, so I'm just gonna, trim this and then trim this little edge here yeah so it's funny because I know not many people unless you're a budgeter a cash budgeter whether you're a budget mom fan or a Dave Ramsey fan or, or whoever um, you know a lot of people don't don't really use cash anymore and it's funny because a lot of my friends at work um, are like, you know, there's an app for that. Or, you know, you don't, you can just put all your cards in your phone with your Apple wallet and you don't need to, to do all of that. But I just, there are certain things that I feel, um, I still really want to just do cash for cause it just helps me, um, stay on budget. It keeps me from overspending. Um, and you know, there's something visceral about actually handing over your hard earned cash at the store, right? I just feel like for me anyway, I'm just a little more mindful of it. Um, and so <clears throat> that's kind of why I like to stick with certain categories as cash. And I'm just going to go in here on these little edges and just trim this with my little cutter bee scissors and kind of trim around the little corners here. <laughs> Um, so I have that rounded edge, just kind of following that around. Oh gosh, I hope I'm in the frame. Am I in the frame, friends? Sorry if I wasn't earlier. 
Um, there's this cute show that I watch. I think it's on, it's either on Netflix or Amazon. Um, I think it's called Good News. It was so cute. So it's about this gal. She's like 30 or in her early 30s and she works for a news show, like a morning show. Um, and her mom ends up getting a an internship at her at her station. And her mom's this really sweet, super cute. They're East Coast, they're like in New Jersey. Um, major helicopter mom, right? Um, because like her daughter's an only child and stuff. And so she's a major helicopter parent, um, which is darling. And so um, she goes to work there and there's this couple of episodes where there's these young interns that come into the office and <laughs> they're talking about the old, you know, the mom. And they're like, yeah, she gave me these green tickets. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. And the young person is like holding up a bunch of dollar bills. <laughs> So it's funny because the young folks in my office, they kind of, they kind of do the same to me. Like someone will say, oh, I'm running to Starbucks. Do you want a Starbucks? And I'll be like, oh, sure. Let me give you some cash. And my friend Sky, who was in um, one of my early videos, if you caught that video, she was like, I don't want your money. Like, I don't want that dirty cash. And I'm like, you don't want my tickets? Um, it's so cute. So I refer to cash now as um, green tickets. So here I am, just like I said, I'm using this paper score. This is an old um, Martha Stewart um, paper score that my mom used to use for crafting her cards. Um, and I'm just kind of scoring the edges where you would fold the flaps. Um, again, do not have to go out and buy one of these. You do not have to do it this way. But I find that when I fold the flaps and it just folds, see how nice that, see if you can see there's like, it makes the nice little ridge. And then when you fold it in, it just kind of, I don't know. I feel like they're just, <laughs> I'm silly. I know I'm crazy. I just like the way it's just a nice straight edge. So there you go. That's that. Um, and then I just use glue stick friends. Um, you can use glue stick or, um, you know, like your adhesive double-sided adhesive tape. I'm just putting here so I don't run off into the inside of the envelope and end up taping the whole thing down. Um, use double stick tape like your scrapbooking tape or whatever, your tape runner, you can use that as well. I'm just using some craft glue stick because we always have tons of glue stick around the house. And I'm just gonna fold that up. Oops. And there you go. So that's my food one. And then um, what I did was I went on Amazon and this is a, a six punch hole punch and I love this one um because these um where the holes where the hole punches are this is totally adjustable um so you can just move these back and forth and adjust it so I have it set to my um my Filofax and then what I do is you just go ahead and go in here and now I'm just going to punch the bottom just kind of center it and then punch it and there you go. So I will take out cash from my food envelope and put it in my new one. And then just open up these rings. I'm gonna take all of these out. What's nice about her envelopes too is she does include like this little tracker on here. Um, you'll you saw some of the writing. I do track sometimes, like with Otis's, I'll just track how what, what how much I have in the envelope at any given time. Um, it, I I track his expenses and expenses in my um, regular transaction log tracker, so um, it's not super important. But I can just quickly look and see what my balance is. I don't really do this for my food because I'm moving money in and out of here so much, and like I said, because I track in my planner. Um, I just rely on that. So this is really just kind of like a, a keeper for everything. And so just snap that back in. And so that's food. And then I'll just go ahead and finish doing the rest of them. And um, we'll come back to when I have it all put together. Alrighty, so I finished um, assembling the rest of my envelopes and I transferred my cash over. So I have my food, I have um, my fun, and then I have, this is gifts. I don't have anything in here for gifts um, this pay period. 
Um, this is miscellaneous, so I transferred that money over. And these, like I said, these ones, um, these envelopes, it's kind of cash is flowing through them. So I don't really use the tracker um, on the back here because that's being tracked in my budget planner. Um, this is Otis. I am going to go ahead and write in what I have in this envelope for Otis as of right now because it kind of acts more like a sinking fund. So as of 225, we had... 155 left in his envelope after we bought all his prescriptions. Um, and then this one is my personal. Again, this one acts sort of like a um, sinking fund as well. Um, and so the last time I put money in here, I'm just going to put the balance in here. I think we're going to be getting some haircuts soon. And then Christmas. Let's see. As of 210, um, what I've saved so far for Christmas. And some of this is left over from last Christmas that I didn't spend and cash wise. And then I always like to kind of just have an extra Otis envelope. And so um, I used this one. And then I just kind of tuck all of this in and zip it up and keep it in my safe spot, like I said. And then I just transfer money out into my regular wallet um, as I need it. So that's kind of it. That That's kind of how I manage my cash. I hope this was helpful to you all. Um, if you don't already follow um, Kamiko Love, the budget mom, I really recommend that you do. Um, if, it, if anything, sign up for her free um, weekly newsletter. She sends a, an e-newsletter every Friday, and she always has some kind of free printable um, in her weekly newsletter. It usually coincides with whatever that week's blog is. So lots of free trackers. Um, some of the cash envelopes I've gotten were free from those e-newsletters. Um, so check her out. I, I really like her. I love her videos. I think she's super cute. I love her story. Um, and then if you need a good cash wallet, I know Rachel Cruz has her own cash wallet now. Um, Kamiko has the Filofax with her branded print. Um, but I have found that I really love the Bella Taylor um, and it was so reasonably priced. I mean, it's under $40. Um, so that's great there. So I hope you found this helpful, um, but that's it for this video. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can catch future content on my channel. Thanks for watching friends. Take care. Bye-bye.